What's going on Dolphins fans? It's Connor from the Dolphins Dive and in today's video we're going to be breaking down the upcoming matchup of the Miami Dolphins facing the Carolina Panthers. Now on paper this is a very lopsided game. There's a clear favorite but as we all know any given Sunday I mean if you think about last night the Broncos held their own against the Chiefs. You never know what's going to happen so you can't underestimate any opponent. Without further ado we're going to hop right into today's video starting with the Dolphins offense versus the Panthers defense. Now the Dolphins offense is off to a historic pace. Well, Dak, here's the deal. I'm the best there is. Playing. Um, in terms of yards and points. Uh, and we're first in the league in every stat, so I'm not even going to go over our points per game, passing yards per game, and rushing yards per game because we're first in all of those categories. Number one! I number one! But as for the Panthers, the Panthers are 28th in points allowed, 6th in passing yards allowed, so their pass passing defense seems pretty decent and then 26th in rushing yards allowed per game. So based off the stats, which stats aren't everything, I mean, they could be sixth in passing yards allowed because their run defense is so bad that that's all teams do. Definitely could be the case. Um, but those are just the numbers to potentially look at and um, gives you an idea of what Dolphins might look to attack. And we're gonna start with our keys of the game, which as you see, start by running the football. And if they can't stop it, just keep on pounding the rock. Um, passing the ball is riskier than running it. And if you can just continue to run it down their throats, then go for it. Jeff Wilson should be hopefully activated off of the IR. Devon A. Chan, unfortunately, sidelined with an injury for at least four weeks as he was placed on the IR. But protect the football is the next key. And if you're able to keep the ball on the ground, the only way to turn it over is obviously fumbling it. So I expect the Dolphins to do what they do on, on offense. Honestly, like I said, they're first in every category. They're extremely explosive. There's no way to truly stop them because we're good against we're good on the run. We're good passing the football. If you want to stack the box to stop the run, we're going to pass it all over you and vice versa. So, I feel bad for opposing pose, defensive coordinators cuz they've got their work cut out for them. Lightning, you're good at everything. But like I said, and if any given Sunday, they got to be careful with the football. Two has got some bad interceptions so far this season, so hopefully he looks to limit that this week. Uh, and we just continue marching on offense, keeping up this historic pace. And there's going to be a new shirt launch on the site, thedolphinsdive.com. Greatest show on surf. I feel like from what I've heard, Biggie on Twitter, this seems to be the biggest nickname that people want to go with. I know people think it's a, like a complete copy of the greatest show on turf, but it's not. It's different. Turf and surf, it's different. Um... And some of the people are like, oh, we got to be creative and come up with our own nicknames. And then they say this is some stupid ass nickname. If you have a good nickname for the offense, feel free to comment down below. But I have yet to hear one that's clearly better than the greatest show on surf or Legion of Zoom. Um, so be on the lookout if you're interested. But some players to watch for the Panthers. Obviously, Brian Burns is one of the best young edge rushers in football. He is questionable, though, so he couldn't miss the game. Derek Brown, similar to Burns, one of the best interior, young interior defensive linemen in football, but is also questionable. Frankie Louvu, who's uh, one of their off-ball linebackers, who's actually a pretty good player. He's pretty well-rounded, can help stop the run. He's solid in the passing game. Look for him to have a solid game. Similar to like Bobby Okereke that we saw last week. He's a good linebacker. Uh, Von Bell, been in the league for a minute now, but he's always been a pretty solid uh, safety and then last but not least Jeremy Chin who's had his ups and downs but he is an athletic freak so just keep an eye out for him he's very athletic and fun to watch now on to our defense versus their offense facing Bryce Young the rookie out of Alabama and some news came out this week uh, saying that Frank Reich might have preferred CJ Stroud over Bryce Young and it was an ownership thing which is a crazy story uh, if true, and I don't understand why owners get so involved with the team that you're not the people with the football knowledge, like the coaches and the GM, which is a little odd, but if that's true, that's crazy. Uh, but the Panthers' offense is 25th in points per game. Dolphins' defense is 18th in points per game. So the Dolphins' defense is slowly improving. Obviously, we played the Giants, who had their entire backup offensive line and have been like the worst offense in football. So Dolphins' defense still needs to prove themselves against top caliber opponents. Panthers are not one of them, but we got one next week. <laughs> uh, Panthers are 22nd in points, uh, passing yards per game. Dolphins are 20th in passing yards allowed. Panthers are 
21st in rushing yards per game, and Dolphins are also 21st in rushing yards allowed. So the Dolphins' defense and the Panthers' offense, based off the statistics, are pretty evenly matched, although I think on paper the Dolphins certainly have the more talented roster. The Panthers are still kind of, I don't want to say in a rebuild, but they're the Dolphins are on like year five of gathering talent. The Panthers are on year one, honestly. So they've got ways to go, but they've got a young, talented bunch and uh, are going to look to upset the world and beat us on Sunday. So like I said, I, obviously I, to the fan base, it doesn't matter. It's, it's what the players are interpreting, but if they take the Panthers lightly, they can lose because every team is so talented. Um, but the first defensive key, I think it's going to stay the same for <laughs> every game until proven otherwise is stop the run. Uh, like I said, the Panthers are without Miles Sanders on Sunday. They're not very talented. They got a rookie quarterback. If you can stop the run and f- make them one-dimensional, it makes their life a living hell. As you could see last week against the Giants, like the Panthers' offensive line is going to be better than the Giants' backups, but if you give us the ability to just tee off on you, they're going to be able to. I was very happy with how Christian Wilkins and the defensive line played after I was frustrated with their play against the Bills. So hopefully they look to continue off of last week and carry that into this week and feast against the run and uh, have elite pass rushing ability. Uh, I posted on my short platform, basically. Christian Wilkins was unblockable, so I hope he continues that because uh, I was definitely frustrated after the Bills game, but he definitely showed up against the Giants, but it's a backup as well. Uh, and then something I want to see from the Dolphins this week is start forcing some turnovers. We haven't really f- uh, forced many turnovers all season, aside from a couple of Javon Holland peanut punches obviously there's been a pick here or there but would like to see the dolphins get their hands on some more balls what did you just say as we've been losing the turnover uh ratio pretty often and that's the biggest indicator of wins and losses as mike mcdaniel loves to uh talk about in his press conferences uh and then some players to watch for the panthers uh there's not a lot of people uh adam thielen's had a a bit of a revival he's been balling for the panthers uh, of late Bryce Young, just got to watch. He's a rookie quarterback. Um, I, I think it's so unfair, the expectations that are set for some of these rookies. Yes, he was the first overall pick, but just enjoy the talent, see what he's got, and maybe he pans out, maybe he doesn't, but it's always too early to tell for the first couple of years, so don't be rushing to judgments, as we all saw with Tua. Uh, and then Chuba Hubbard, like I said, Miles Sanders is out. Chuba Hubbard is a solid player. Just keep an eye out for him. They got DJ Chark and uh, some middle of the pack receivers uh but some of them are young guys maybe they they shine just keep an eye out i don't know like i said they're not the most talented team uh right now but honestly the prediction like i said it's pretty lopsided in terms of talent and record uh i expect the dolphins to keep uh stacking in that wing column beating the panthers 38 to 20 comment down below though what's your score prediction and my prediction on the season so far i'm four and one on the season and i'm 15 and 7 dating back to last season just on picking the winner that's pretty solid if i do say so myself i deserve some applause if i'm being real um, but that's all i got for today's video appreciate you guys for watching like and subscribe to help the channel grow and until next time i'll catch y'all